Hi, I'm Eric Rano. This is a video for tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop. In this video, I'll be looking at a brand new addition to Photoshop CC, that is Picture Frame. Let's jump in and see how it's done. So here I am in Photoshop and I've got my image open. I want to put a frame on it. So let's go and create a new layer and then go up to Edit and Fill. And we've got the Fill dialog box that we're all familiar with. What I need to do is in Use, choose Pattern. And then down the bottom here, we've got this new scripted patterns. And one of them in there is the brand new picture frame. There's a few other new ones in there. More of those some other time. Let's choose Picture Frame and click OK. And a new dialog box appears. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this all back to its defaults. And sure enough, there we go. And we've got this vine coming on, this happy vine, as Photoshop wants to call it. And I can go ahead and click OK with that. But let's have a look and see what's going on here. First of all, let's change the margin. And you'll see that it pulls it out from the outside of the image. Now, there's no actual preview for this, so we have to kind of judge it by the way it's coming off the top or off the left and right sides, really. We can change the size, but of course, that's going to alter where our margin wants to be as well. And our thickness. So this is the thickness of the vines. And as you can see, we've gone a little bit too far, really, on those. Let's pull those down a little bit. The angle will change the way the vines go, and this can be quite interesting. And finally, the arrangement. So the way that each vine interlinks with each other. All right, let's click OK on that and see how it looks. And uh, OK, I've pulled it too far in, really, and I can't really see it because it's black. So we don't want that one anymore. Let's get rid of that and create a new layer. Edit and fill. Now this is a sticky dialog box, so it's already on picture frame. I just have to click OK and we're back in again. Now I can change the colour of the vine, should I wish, so I could go to maybe a green or something like that. So let's have a look at a green. There we go. Green for the vine. And the flower, well, we want a nice red ready there, don't we? So let's do a red here. And there we go. And so that's going to make it a little bit more interesting. In fact, we can even change the size of the flowers down here so we could see them a little bit more. And they're small circles at the moment. We could click on the downward facing arrow and change them maybe to something like a rose. There we go. That's a little bit too big now. Let's take them down a bit. All right, let's click OK on that and see how it looks. All right, we're getting there. Something, um, whether I'd use this or not, is, uh, is another matter. Let's turn that one off, create a, a new layer. And again, edit, fill and OK. So you can see that's just happy vine. There's plenty more where that came from. If I click the downward facing arrow, you can see there's a whole load of presets that Photoshop ships with now, in Photoshop CC at least. But the ones I'm probably more likely to use, if any, if I'm honest, are these ones down here, 36 to 42. Now, so these are the sort of things that I like to put onto an image. So I'm gonna change this one to white, maybe. Let's just click down there, probably be easier to do it. There we go. And I can start to really kind of manipulate these to how I'd like them. And just click OK there. And that's probably more of something that I'm going to use. It wasn't difficult to do it in Photoshop originally, to be honest with you. But it's there should you wish to use it. Let's just take a look at one more, perhaps. Let's create a new layer. Edit and Fill. And again, click OK. And let's have a look at some more. Let's just reset those because I changed the colors to defaults. Again, we go back to Happy Vine. And let's have a look at something like a Root, maybe. I'm picking one at random. And we can change these to stars and circles and all kinds of things. Let's go for Drop 2. And we'll make that a yellow, perhaps. What do we think? Yellow. OK, there we go. A yellow. And uh, the small circles will have yellow as well, um, because I'm not very imaginative. But I'll change those. Let's go for suns. And make the flower size a bit bigger. And click OK. There we go. Now, of course, we... Oh, dear. Now, of course, we can change the blend mode of this, just as we can with any of the others. Let's go into soft light and maybe even vivid light. 
and uh, see what difference that makes. Oh, crikey. So, like I say, um, probably not something I'm going to reach for every single image, but uh, it's there should I wish to use it. My name's Eric Runner. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. That's better.